Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. Today, we're headed up to Quincy, Washington, and 14-year-old Casey Klein. Casey, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing awesome, man. So, you know, I'm all the way down here in Florida. You're all the way up there in Quincy, Washington. I have no idea how many miles it is between us, but here's one thing that I do know. I was bathing in the sun last week at about 80 degrees, and I saw you guys driving home from a race, and you guys were driving through snow and sleet still. Is that right? Yeah, it's been snowing here. Oh, my gosh. When does it stop snowing there? It's usually stopped by now, but we got a bad storm. You got a bad storm. All right, so let's dive right in. So currently, you are racing what? I'm currently racing pro lates and junior lates, and I might race super lates a couple times. Couple times, okay. So let's talk about junior late models at Madera Speedway because that's what everybody knows. Everybody knows all about the 5150 junior late model series that goes on there at Madera, and you've got a pretty good start to the season. I was looking at the points before the before this interview, and you're setting third in points. You're seven points out. Uh, can you give us a quick rundown on how the season's kind of unrolled for you so far? Yeah, it's been a good season so far. We started good. and I mean, we got top threes in both the races so far, so I'm happy about that. Have you tore anything up yet? Nope, haven't even took a fender off the car. That's awesome. Mike Nake will love that. So speaking of Mike Nake, I hear there's a funny little story about something that happened in the pits between you and Mike. Can you share that with us? Yeah, he told me to go get ready and to get in the car. And there was the 54 car and my car, and they both had the same wrap. So I went to go get in the wrong car and accident. So Mike Nake, if you're watching this, that's a reason it's time to change the wrap. We've been running the same wraps for like four years. That way your driver won't get in the wrong car. So I'm sure he gave you a hard time about that. Yeah. Okay, so two top threes at, at Madeira. Your next race up I have as April the 30th. Um, what do you think you got to do to park that thing in victory lane? Um, I need to qualify good and then get a good draw on the – He'll draw so I can start up front and just lead the race. So here's the question. If you if you set the fast time in qualifying, have you, have you set on the pole yet this year? No, I haven't. Okay. But if you do, let's just say you go out April 30th and you set on the pole, who's going to draw the pill? It really doesn't. There's just luck at that point. i say that again? It's just luck at that point. Okay, but are you going to do it, or are you going to send somebody down there to do it? Oh, I'm going to do it. Oh, you're going to do it? All right, good answer. Love that. All right, so you've been also racing uh, up in the Northeast. Tell us about your pro late model. Yeah, I've um, been racing up here in my pro late models. We just got a new Van Dorn bill, and I went out to race it last weekend and it started hailing on us so the race got canceled okay so and but you were per, you were pretty stout there right where did you qualify yeah. at uh i ended up qualifying third you qualified third you did you run a heat race or a trophy dash yeah i ran a trophy dash where'd you finish in that i won my trophy dash you won the trophy dash and the way i understand it you guys were all lined up to go out and start the race and, the, and it started hailing yeah, it started sprinkling, and then two minutes later, as we were still sitting there, it turned into hail. Did your car get dented up? No. Okay. I sort of say that's, that wouldn't be good. So you had to basically, you were all amped up to get to race, and basically you just had to load up and come home. Yeah. That's a bummer. That's, that's, not, that's not fun. Do you have a makeup date scheduled for that race yet? No. Okay, so we got April 30th, Madera Speedway coming up. Your next race up there, the Pro Late model I have is May 13th. Anything in between there with the Pro? No, nothing till then. Okay, do you have anything scheduled at Madera in a Pro Late model? Have you talked to Mike about, you know, maybe running a junior late model and then coming in and doing a Pro maybe later in the season? or? 
Um, no, we haven't talked about that yet, but my dad always tells me if I want to run a pro, he, I can run his car that he brings down there. Oh, okay. Pros. Awesome. All right, so let's talk about Casey off the track a little bit. What do you like to do for fun? I like to hang out with my friends and go mountain biking. Okay, so where, where are some of the places that you go mountain biking at? Um, right in the town I go to school behind my friend's houses, there's a whole bunch of mountain bike trails and we just walk up the hill and go. You got to be careful on a mountain bike though. Yeah. You wouldn't want to flip it. Like somebody told me you flipped your razor. Yeah. I flipped my razor a couple of times. A couple times? Like yeah. all in one wreck or you've done this two separate times? Um, all in one wreck and a couple of separate times. And so how is the razor today? Uh, it still runs, but it doesn't look very pretty. It does, well, it doesn't need to look pretty, especially if you're going to go out and flip it again. Well, there's no more roll cage on it. Oh, so it's it's basically parked at this time. Maybe you need to load it up and take it to the Nate Clower body shop and say, Mike, fix this thing for me. Yeah. All right. So what else do you like to do when you're not racing? Do you do any do you do any sim racing? Um, I used to, but I haven't really been doing any high racing. Okay. So, um, I know we talked a little bit about, um, your school. Um, you're in the eighth grade, right? Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite subjects? Um, well, if you count PE, that's definitely my favorite subject. That was my favorite subject in school too. What's your least favorite subject? Definitely algebra. Oh, algebra. Okay. Mine was yeah. English. I was like never good at English and, and I pay for it today. So uh, pay attention in English class. That'd be good for you. But you got to be good in math because race car drivers need to be very good in math. There's a lot of mathematical things to be able to figure out tire stagger and different things like that as you get a little bit older. But uh, um, so Talk to me a little bit about your family and how involved they are in racing and maybe a little bit of history of the Klein family racing um, legacy, if you would. Yeah, so my family's pretty involved. Like my dad still races to this day and all three of his brothers raced at one point in all different classes around where we live. So my family's been pretty involved in it. Okay, any brothers or sisters? Um, I have a sister, but we she raced go-karts when she was like five, but we got in a wreck and I broke my thumb. And so she got scared and doesn't race anymore. She doesn't race anymore. Well, that just gives more budget for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> and and I know that your mom is very involved as well. I mean, I, I will say this, that as um, only your short time being a race face advancement driver. She's awesome. I'm just telling you, you need to take your mom to dinner or go hug her or something, because anytime I ask for anything, she's Johnny on the spot. She gets it to me really quick. And, and I really appreciate that. So um, let's learn just a little bit more about you. We're just about out of time. Um, do you have a favorite movie? Uh, probably one of the Fast and Furious movies. One of the Fast and Furious movies. How about a favorite TV show? Um, probably SNL. SNO? SNL, Saturday Night Live. Oh, Saturday Night Live. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's pretty good. Do you have a favorite band? Uh, no. No? No? You're not into music? Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, there you got it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 14-year-old out of Quincy, Washington, bright, bright, bright racing future ahead of him. Um, to connect more with Casey, make sure to go to CaseyKleinRacing.com. Go to his fan zone. Make sure to follow him on all of his social media platforms. And Casey, we want to uh, thank you for being with us this evening. We'll be checking back with you later in the year. And everybody, you can keep up to, with Casey on racingamerica.com, our race face driver update shows play there every week. And if you've got a smart TV, 
check out Racing America's TV channel and you can keep up to speed with Casey on a weekly basis. So Casey, thanks again for being our guest tonight and good luck for the rest of the year. Yeah, thank you for having me. You're more than welcome. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver Spotlight. And we'll be back with you in two weeks. Everyone go out and have a great race weekend. Make sure to support local racing in your communities. And like I said, we'll be back with you in two weeks. Good night, everyone.